what's going on guys I am back with another video of car mechanic simulator 2018 today we are going to be looking at this uh, this vehicle I read on the description that uh, the owner wants me to check the timing components of the vehicle as long as, along with the uh, oil changed so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, so we are going to initially look at the the ignition coils it looks like uh, they're pretty rusty so uh, I don't understand how they would be rusty but uh, you know that's just the nature of this game so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that uh, we're also gonna take the spark plugs out and replace those oh I don't want to take the engine head off I want to take the spark plug out so let's go ahead and do that um, but before we continue any further I want to go ahead and check the oil and it looks like they do need an oil change so we are going to lift the car up and once this is done we're gonna go over there and grab our uh, oil catcher and we will come over here and we will move this over under the car and we will drain the oil there wasn't that much oil in but that's that's okay so now that that's done uh, we're gonna drop the car back down and we are going to put oil in this car so let's go ahead and put some oil in just by tipping this over and letting it go and we're good so that's done we don't have to worry about that um, I'm also going to pull off the timing cover just to just to take a look uh, I know he wanted to wanted me to look at all the timing components so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off this serpentine belt and I'm gonna take off this one and we're gonna take off the crankshaft pulley as well just all the components that are blocking my way from getting under or from what's beneath the uh, timing cover so we're gonna take this water pump off and then we're gonna take off this timing cover and it looks like the cam gears are uh, a little rusty that's okay that's what we're here for and I'm gonna go ahead and take these off we might need to replace the camshaft as well so um all right well since we've already gotten this far let's go ahead and take off the engine cover or the uh, engine head cover and we are going to pull these camshafts out uh it looks like the uh looks like everything else is fine uh, i'm not going to worry about that so uh, we look at our inventory uh, we have a slew of things that we need to get uh, we're gonna need to uh, get four ignition coils uh, it looks like we're going to need two cam gears and two cam shafts so let's go ahead and go into our computer we'll go into the engine section and we will get some cam gears uh, we'll go ahead and get some cam shafts as well and ignition coils so we'll go ahead and get four of these and we will go ahead back to the vehicle and we will go ahead and reassemble all of these so we will put our put in our new cam shafts and then we'll install our cam gears then we'll put our cover back on for the engine head and now we're going to reassemble the engine uh, with the timing belt and the cover 
and then we're going to reassemble all of the other functioning parts of the engine. And then this, I believe, should be all good to go once we're done with this. Um, all they wanted me to do was change the oil and uh, check the timing components. Not too bad, but time consuming. And we'll go ahead and put our serpentine belts back on. Oh, come on. And put our serpentine belt on. And then we'll go ahead and put our belt tensioner back on. And screw that in. And... I almost forgot about the, uh, the spark plugs and ignition coils. So let's go ahead and put those back in. Um, the spark plugs, they look bad, but they're really not bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace them. Or put them back in the vehicle, I should say. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put the ignition coils in. Brand new. So this guy should not have any issue with uh, his timing anymore. One more thing I almost forgot. Whenever you change the oil, you always want to change the oil filter. That was another rookie mistake on my part. Um, on my part. So I am going to replace the oil filter and then we'll get this guy on out of here. And we'll go ahead and mount this and he'll be done. I know that the oil filter, it looked like it had just been replaced. Uh, but it's always common practice to change the oil filter since uh, he needed an oil change anyways. So I believe that should be it. Okay, so we've got the camshafts. All, we've got all of the timing components done. And we've tra changed our oil and put it in an oil filter. So we are good. So let's go ahead and move our vehicle over to the lifter and lift the car up let's go ahead and check our order so it looks like we're going to need an inner tie rod an outer tie rod sway bars uh sway bar links so we're going to go ahead and order those it should all be in the front of the vehicle so we're going to need Let's see. Let's see if I can't find them. Uh, we've got our inner tie rod and our outer tie rod. And let's see if we can't find our front end links. Okay, so we've got we need two of these, so we're gonna go ahead and grab two of these. And we are going to, I don't think we need to lift the vehicle up. I think we can do it from here. So let's go ahead and take this rim off. And let's go ahead and get back here. And take these, uh, the sway bar link off. And we'll go ahead and take the outer tie rod off. It looks like it might just be on this side. I could be mistaken though. So let's go ahead and, and mount these parts back on. We're going to use the new tie rods. And we're going to bolt this in. And we're going to replace our sway bar. Our, uh, or the link for it. And before we put the... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put that tire back on. Because we are all done on that side. And then we will go ahead and move on to the next side where we will check the sway bar link. And let's go ahead and take a peek. Alright, yep, we're going to need to replace this. No big deal easy so we are going to replace this with a brand new one and I believe that should be it 
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and mount the tire. I will go ahead and check the order one more time before we complete it. So we've got all of our necessities and uh, appears that this vehicle is done so we'll go ahead and go into the order alright so that's gonna be the end of this video uh, if you enjoyed please feel free to leave me a like a comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video